Shut up, you don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You got a right. Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and fam? It's your cousin Ryan, and I'm going to check out this new footage from Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. I guess it's not like a complete trailer. Um, I think they call it like a featurette or something from D23, but we're supposed to get a look at some unseen or some newly unseen, whatever you want to call it, footage from the new Star Wars. Let's check it out. I've seen that melt and fade around. Fight. That's pretty cool. I want to go back here and I noticed, oh, before I go back, um, it was at, the whole thing's two minutes and 11 seconds and it was a minute and almost 15 seconds before we got any new footage. Um, I liked the flashback. I feel like they're trying to get people like the older fans reinvested in this a little bit. Cause I know there was some hardcore older fans or, or whatever you want to call it that were pretty upset with the last Jedi. I didn't hate the last Jedi. I thought it could have been way better. Um, it seemed a little bit out of place. I feel like what we're seeing here, this is, this should have been the next movie after the force awakens. I really like the force awakens. I know it pretty much kept the same beats as a new hope. Um, but I think there was enough hatred for the prequels at the time. Now everybody loves, <clears throat> excuse me, loves the prequels, which is kind of funny. But um, there was enough disdain for the prequels that I think they had to really play it safe with The Force Awakens to get people to buy back in. But I think The Force Awakens established some things that The Last Jedi didn't really follow, if, if that makes sense. Um, anyway... Uh, this, to me, feels like this is what should have been right after The Force Awakens, I think. I mean, just the feeling I'm getting from it, if hopefully that makes sense. So I want to skip back here and watch the new footage again. Here we go. <clears throat> this looks awesome, I think. I mean... That's a little bit over the top. I feel like, kind of feel a little bit like Return of the Jedi, how Return of the Jedi gave us a lot of what made the first two Star Wars movies cool and just like blew it up, uh, literally, with the Death Star, the second Death Star, but this feels like it's, it's taking all the Star Destroyers and just like we've never seen that many lined up in that formation before. Um, This right here, C-3PO with the red eyes. 
what are the red eyes about? I think that looks really cool. I get the feeling that 3PO is going to be a bit of a savage in this movie, which, as long as he's not jumping around doing, you know, crazy Jedi flips and stuff, I'd be okay with him being a little bit more of a, a, a savage, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This looks pretty cool here. I like the waves crashing around. Um, and the lightsaber duel. Yes, it's in. Sounds like Palpatine and then Vader breathing. That looks pretty sweet too. Uh, the a dark side ray. Would they really, if she really goes to the dark side though, are they going to reveal that in the trailer? I mean, I don't know. That would be pretty ballsy to do that. Um, what else am I thinking here? This is so hard without watching it like multiple times and dissecting everything. And it's just like my initial thoughts when seeing this. Um, this has kind of got me excited again. I, like I said, I didn't hate The Last Jedi. I just wasn't thrilled with it. Um, uh, and not for the same reasons a lot of other people weren't thrilled with it. I mean, for me... Uh, spoiler alert, I didn't have a problem with Luke Skywalker dying. I thought, you know, it, it whether it was the last 15 minutes of that movie or if it happened in the first 15 minutes of this one, I kind of, I don't know, just to me, my personal opinion, I'm, I'm indifferent in that regard. Um, the code breaker, the casino stuff, I mean, I think it would have been better. You've got to hit some nostalgia here, and I think the code breaker should have been Lando at that point, reintroduce him then. Um, Holdo... Uh, one of my buddies at work said that Holdo was more of a comic book reference. That character was more established in the comics. I don't know. Is that true? I have no idea. I haven't read the comics. But I would like to have seen Akbar go out like a boss. You know, he should have been the one to do the suicide mission. Uh, you know, the jump to light speed. But anyway, all that aside, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this again. I've been so focused on next summer with Ghostbusters and the new Bill and Ted and Top Gun and and coming to America too, and I, I've kind of, my mind had skipped past this and realized we're just a few months away from a new Star Wars. Um, looking at this right now on the screen, the Star Wars logo, it's blue. It was red during The Last Jedi, and I think it was yellow for The Force Awakens and like almost everything else before that. Um, I wonder, I'm sure everything's deliberate, right? There has to be a reason for that. Or maybe there doesn't. Maybe it just looks different and it's cool, but... Anyway, it's getting late. I was at work a long time. Went and rode my bike. I'm tired. Hopefully, some of what I said made sense. Hopefully, you know, some of you other Star Wars fans out there don't hate me too much for my opinion. And if you do, hey, that's, that's your right. I mean, this is what I think, you know. And I'm sure there's plenty of people that would disagree with what I think about this, which I'm totally okay with that. If you liked, if you loved, if you loved The Last Jedi... I still like you. You're still cool, I'm sure. I, and you totally, I would not tell you to dislike it at all. If you enjoyed it, that's awesome. I mean, I even enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. It's just not what... I don't know. It was just one of those weird, like, after... I enjoyed it initially, and then I think the more I saw it, and the more I talked to people about it, is when I started to kind of waver on my opinion. You know, when you start to break things down and really analyze them. Um, anyway, enough talking. It's bedtime. Need to get some sleep, get up early and go to work tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching this with me. I hope uh, you don't hate me too much for my opinion. If you do, like I said, that's cool. Anyway, um, thanks. If you enjoyed this, even if you didn't, please like, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, see you in the next video.